are you spending your Christmas holidays? I hope that it has been beautiful and I hope that you've been enjoying it so far. Today I'm going to share with you how I have been spending my Christmas holiday. Sincerely, this is the most amazing Christmas holiday I've ever had. Not that um, the previous ones have not been amazing, but this is unique. You know why? Because I'm celebrating this Christmas with my baby girl. So this is my first Christmas as a mom and it's been so exciting. These are some of the things I've been doing this holiday. So I'm going to be sharing that with you. The first thing I did was to travel. I am currently in Europe and um my husband happened to be in another european country so i and we have been by ourselves for a while so deciding whether to go by air by road um was a big deal for me i didn't know how it was going to be with an infant on the plane i was scared you know when the plane is taking off and landing i wasn't so sure but i came across some mothers who decided to travel via train and they shared their very wonderful experiences so i decided to travel by train too and it was a three hour and 20 minutes journey it was beautiful um baby was cool she got a lot of friends on the train it was more spacious than an aircraft would be and i really enjoyed it so when we landed in um paris i was so excited you know to be with uh, my husband during the christmas holidays and since then it has been amazing we've been doing so many things together we stepped out together the most important thing for me during this christmas is the fact that we all get to be together in one space um the dedicated time to be together um as a family which i think is one of the things that christmas um connotes being together with your loved ones and sharing beautiful memories and beautiful moments you know going out together cooking together taking care of the baby together these things have made this christmas a unique one for me and i just wanted to share that with you this christmas has also been a time where i have been able to consistently show affection to my husband after a while you know um, we've been apart for a while so meeting this christmas the orgs the kisses and my baby girl she loves kisses she can take one million kisses in a day this holiday season has enabled me to show small gestures that has you know helped to maintain physical bond outside intimate moments there's also been a time for me to you know really indulge um my husband in communication about our plans whether or not we want more kids um, what 2024 is going to be about how we're going to be better parents to our beautiful little girl and what the future holds for us spiritually um, physically economically and what and what we are going to do with it has afforded me the opportunity to have a detailed conversation communication and wow one amazing thing i enjoyed about this christmas is the the fact that we're able to read a book together <laughs> And one interesting thing about this Christmas holiday is the fact that I, together with my partner, have been able to come to the consensus that we are going to live healthy, you know, healthy choices in our food, in our meals. So, so far, we've been able to um, reduce our salt intake of food to make our meals um, void of salt and all the um, um many things that we used to use for cooking we've been able to stick to natural ingredients avoiding sugar and fizzy drinks making our own drinks our own juices you know the process of doing all these things together and the result to live um, healthy take healthy meals has been one amazing thing for me this christmas and i am loving it so far one good thing that i have been able to do this christmas i always do it but this christmas i've taken it a step further is to show appreciation to both my husband and my loved ones my siblings people generally around me because you know um everybody loves to be appreciated and we need one another to survive it's practically impossible for a human being to survive by themselves without other people so this christmas season has afforded me the opportunity to really appreciate the people in my life 
this Christmas has really helped me to be appreciative of those around me, you know. Um, being pregnant, having to move from one country to the other with without family around me, people who I know, who I don't know, have come to my rescue at different points up until now. And I am so grateful and I'm also using this avenue if you're watching this video um, to say thank you if I ever uh, crashed at your place. If you ever gave me something, helped me out throughout this journey, especially since I moved abroad, I'm taking this opportunity to say thank you. And even if um, you didn't help me abroad, but you helped me back home while I was there, I just want to say thank you. You guys have been so amazing. So, so far, I've been enjoying my Christmas holidays, and I hope that you're also enjoying your holidays. I hope that your time and your moments with family is worth it. And I hope that you really come to the realization that um, those around you are amazing and you can be appreciative of them and just say thank you. If you have nothing to give them, this is just an opportunity for you to say thank you. I always like to leave you with a scripture. So today I'm going to be leaving you with my end of the year scripture, which you can find in the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 34. And it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord. For it is good. A steadfast love endures forever. No matter where you are at in life. If everyone neglects you, your creator, he can never ever leave you. He's never failed anyone that I know. So do not forget to thank him. He is a good God. And I know you know that. If you are yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? kindly subscribe next year promises to be amazing as i'm going to be going in depth into relationship into marriage and hopefully i'm going to be getting opinions from you and other people and i am going to be sharing that with you it promises to be fun and it promises to be educative insightful so please 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 make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you are yet to and you're free to follow me on my social media and those is lady dora button on all social media platforms kindly follow me let's connect and also i'm open to collaboration so if you want to collaborate with me on anything kindly slide into my dm and let us talk if you don't take anything away from today's episode i want you to take away the fact that you should say thank you say thank you to everybody around you whether they've been helpful or not everybody who have been present in your life just say thank you to them if you don't have things to give to anybody just say thank you but if you have gift and something you can physically give people um then please do and you can also employ your social media handles to show how grateful to heart you are to people in your life and i'm sure they will really appreciate it i love you i want to take this opportunity to say thank you for sticking with me on this journey um where i've been sharing my experiences with you um right from some months back and you especially those who have stuck with me those who keep watching my video every time i want to say thank you so much i love you please stay with me and let's have a beautiful 2024 together i can't wait to share with you the amazing experiences the things i'm going to learn and i can't wait to hear from you as well please share with me your experiences and i hope that 2024 will be a beautiful year for all of us i hope that 2024 will be the year we achieve our dreams i hope that 2024 will be the year we make more money and i hope that 2024 be the year where we you know share love like never before i love you so much thank you for being a part of my life and do have a beautiful end of the year till i see you again in 2024 stay blessed